Hello and welcome back again. In this video, we'll be discussing about how to identify whether our airline sensor array is working or not and have a look at whether it's an active high or an active low kind of a sensor. So basically, we have two kinds of sensors. The first sensor is active high, where whenever it detects a path or a specific color, then it sends you a logic one. And another kind is an active low kind of a sensor, whereas uh, whenever it detects a desired surface, it gives you an active low signal or a zero signal. So in our case, uh, the sensor which I have shown you in our previous videos is uh, an active high black surface sensor. So it's meaning that whenever it encounters a black surface, it is going to send me a logic one. So uh, let's get into the Arduino software now and I'll show you what other things we need to add. So we'll be using the same previous program and we'll be um, adding our additional codes in every section of this course. And then finally, what we'll be having in our hand is the Maze Solver robot. So last uh, video was um, discussing about um, how we integrate the Arduino Adafruit MotorShield library and how to use the basic stuff regarding backward, forward, right, and left movements. So we got five functions for having the possible four directions and halting. Now, uh, under the same setup function, we need to use the last six analog pins that we have seen uh, where we are about to interface the IR sensors. Mm, I'm sure that the pin numbers A0 to A5 on our Arduino board are also the same digital pins, Arduino uh, digital pin number 14 through Arduino digital pin 19. As we are about to use these six pins together, we can simply go for uh, writing a for loop, which will simplify our job by avoiding repetitive statements. I'll simply define a variable i, uh, which will begin with 14. And we need to do that till 20 and simply increment it. So this statement is basically for uh, initializing ordinal pin numbers from 14 till 20. So it will be 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Uh, it's less than 20, so definitely it's going to, uh, this loop is going to iterate from 14 to 19. So here what we are supposed to do is we are about to set the pin mode of these last six analog pins, which are going to be used as a digital pin in our case for interfacing IR line sensors. And that is I as input and that's it so this is all we need to write under setup function for setting the pin mode of Arduino digital pins 14 till 20 as an input now uh, once we have written uh, the instruction to set the pin mode uh, we need to write certain corresponding uh, instructions that will help us in understanding what exact pin values it is printing to the uh, output. So for that, um, I'll be again using the same for loop where I'll be defining i ranging from 14 till 19 with an increment of i and then uh, I'll try to print this to the serial console. So whenever you press on this particular button here, uh, which says serial monitor, uh, if you want to identify or uh, view some uh, printing values, then, uh, generally you know, this is the task that we usually perform whenever you're using Arduino. For instance, uh, consider that you want to uh, print the temperature that you're trying to sense with an Arduino. And then generally the statements that we use is serial.println. Uh, in general, uh, prototyping experiments and other stuff, uh, Arduino is basically used with an uh, LCD display 
where it prints down all the values that it is generally trying to sense. But in those cases where we are building applications like a robot, where we are not, uh, where a robot is not equipped with any sort of visual displays and all, then the only thing that you have is uh, at the time of development, we generally use the serial monitor itself as a debugging tool to view what things are actually happening in the back end um, in our Arduino IC. So I'll try to print the values of uh, these IR sensors by using the instruction called serial.print. So I'll simply try to write it as pin So I'll be printing the exact value of uh, pin and okay, let me copy paste this. And I'll put Okay, so what I'm about to print, I'm about to print the value that each pin is going to give me. Uh, for this, there is an instruction called digital read. So I am digitally reading, uh, or I'm actually reading the digital value on pin i, which would be 14 through 19, and then that is printed to the console. So uh, this is going to print something like this. Um, so here we have printed i and so it will be like this pin 14 is equal to some value either 1 or 0 this is how your serial console output is going to be so now we have defined a for loop for printing the things to the serial console but we didn't define uh, the serial uh, communication protocols in our setup so we need to add one more instruction to set the baud rate okay so what this does is it has initialized the serial monitor with a baud rate of 9600 and then only these instructions called serial.print and serial.println will start working. Um, we need not to write ln here because uh, all this needs to be in a single line. Okay, only the last statement must be equipped with this ln extension. So let us compile and verify and then we are ready to read the line sensor readings on a serial console. Yes, there are no errors. Thank you.